Hey everyone, welcome back to Robo Request. You ask, we build. Each month, we bring your creative ideas to life with an exciting robotics project. And this time, we have got something absolutely mind blowing: a wireless gesture controlled robot. This project is inspired by some awesome request from our amazing community. A huge shout out to Ananna U1P for this awesome idea. Stay tuned and keep your request coming. Also thanks to Ananna Hial8 for suggesting a detailed step by step tutorials and Martin Christian 834 for requesting a full video of this project. By the end of this video you will be able to control your robot wirelessly using simple gestures. Now let's get into it. In this project we will use first we have the Arduino Uno the brain of our robot next the L298 in motor driver module responsible for driving the motors and providing speed control to the robot the HC05 bluetooth module allows us to control the robot wirelessly from a mobile phone a smartphone to run the app and control the car using gestures screw driver jumper wires one double battery holder with switch two lithium ion batteries one usb cable to upload the code to the arduino board and one four wheel acrylic car chassis to mount all components and ensure stability if you want to learn how to assemble the four wheel acrylic chassis click on the i button above we have already uploaded a detailed video tutorial to guide you step by step now let's assemble the circuit place the l298 in motor driver on the top side of the chassis the l298 in motor driver has two output channel labeled as out1 out2 out3 and out4 Now pick one wire of motor one and one of motor two diagonally. Insert it in output one of the motor driver. Then pick the other wire of motor one and motor two and insert it in output two. Similarly, connect the motor three and four to output three and four. Take the double battery holder and paste it here. Insert this red wire in the plus twelve volt slot and tighten the screw. Similarly, insert this black wire in the ground slot of the motor driver. Before moving further. Let's check if the motors are connected correctly to the motor driver. Don't remove the enable clips. Connect a wire from plus 5 volt slot of the motor driver. Now connect this wire to the IN1 pin and observe the wheels. If they move clockwise, it indicates a forward direction. Next connect the wire to the IN2 pin. If they move backward, the connection is correct and motors 1 and 2. Repeat the same steps for IN3 and IN4 to test motors 3 and 4. Connect this wire to the IN3 pin and observe the wheels. They have to move clockwise in a forward direction. Next connect the wire to IN4 pin. They should move backward. The connection is correct for motor 3 and 4 as well. Now fix the Arduino board here. First of all, power the Arduino from the motor driver. To do so, insert one wire from plus 5 volt slot of motor driver to the VIN pin of Arduino and insert one wire from GND of motor driver to the GND of Arduino. Insert male to female jumper wires in these pins. Connect the input one pin of the motor driver to D13 of the Arduino. Connect IN2 to D12. These pins control the direction of motor 1 and 2. Similarly, connect the IN3 to D11 of Arduino and connect IN4 to D10. These pins will control the direction of motor 3 and 4. Next, move on to the Bluetooth module. Connect the VCC of the Bluetooth module to 5 volt pin of Arduino. Connect the GND to the GND of Arduino. Connect the TX pin of the module to the RX pin of the Arduino. Connect its RX pin to the TX pin of the Arduino. When we send a command from our phone to the Bluetooth module, the Bluetooth module will transmit that command via its TX pin to the Arduino's RX pin, and the Bluetooth module receives data on its RX pin. Paste the module here. Make sure to double check your connection with the circuit diagram. Now our circuit is ready, and we need to add the code. Download the code file given in the description below. Open the code file if you have already downloaded the Arduino IDE otherwise download the Arduino IDE first Here you can see a command line welcoming to RoboArm a character variable t is declared to store the command received from the serial monitor Next define the mode for each pin The pin mode function is used to set the specified pin to behave either as an input or an output Set pin 13 as an output pin to control the left motor forward Set pin 12 as an output pin to control the left motor reverse. Set pin 11 as an output pin to control the right motor forward. Set pin 10 as an output pin to control the right motor reverse. Also initialize serial communication at a baud rate of 
This allows communication between the Arduino board and the computer. In loop, the serial dot available function will check if data is available to read from the serial port. If data is available, the serial dt read function will read the incoming serial data and store it in variable t. Serial dot print lnt function will print the received data to the serial monitor for debugging purpose. Now we have common execution. If the command is f, action is to set pin 13 and pin 11 to high. And its effect is that both left and right motors rotate in forward direction, making robot move forward. If the command is b, action is to set pin 12 and pin 10 to high. And its effect is that both left and right motors rotate in the reverse direction, making the robot move backward. If the command is L, action is to set pin 13 to high. And its effect is that only left motor rotates in the forward direction, causing the robot to turn right. If the command is R, the action is to set pin 11 to high. And its effect is that only the right motor rotates in forward direction, causing the robot to turn left. If the command is S, action is to set all motor control spin 11, 13, 12, 11, 10 to low and its effects is to stop all motors. That's the code. And that's it. Now first we will upload code to the Arduino. Connect the Arduino Uno to your computer using the USB cable. Before uploading the code, make sure to remove the RX and TX pins from the Arduino to avoid any upload errors. Then select port and board in the same menu and select Arduino Uno. Now upload the code by clicking the upload button and now with everything connected and code uploaded. Attach the RX and TX pins back, switch it on. You should see the LED on the Bluetooth module start blinking, indicating it's ready to pair. Next open the Bluetooth setting on your smartphone and scan for new devices. Look for a device name HC05 or HC06 and select it to pair. If prompted for a password, enter 1234 or 4 times 0. Once paired, your smartphone will remember this connection making it easy to reconnect in the future. Now open a Bluetooth controlled app on your smartphone. You can download the app from the link given below in the description. In the app, go to the setting, then click on connect to car. Connect to the paired device HC05. Then again go to the setting, click on the accelerometer control option here. The app should indicate a successful connection with the app connected. Let's test the robot. The phone's accelerometer detects the tilt and orientation on your phone in 3D space. When you tilt the phone in any direction, the accelerometer senses the change in angles and sends this information to the app. The app then translates the tilt data into commands such as moving forward, backward, turning left or turning right. To make the robot move forward, tilt your phone forward. To move it backward, tilt your phone backward. In the same way, left or right. To stop the robot, bring the phone to a neutral position, flat. This project can also be used as a Bluetooth controlled robot. Check out its tutorial link in the description. We have already uploaded a video for it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching our tutorial.